Hi everyone, just a couple of things about our tutorials and Excel. When the words double click or click are mentioned in our tutorials, unless specifically stated, we mean the left button on your mouse. So for example, if we mention the words double click, we're implying double left click. And similarly, if we mention the words click, then we're implying left click. Next, you can use the undo command to reverse your last action in Microsoft Excel. Now, pressing this will basically undo your actions up to 16 levels, which is the default setting in Excel. Now, for those of you who have never used Excel and are unaware of the undo command, basically you can access it by your keyboard by pressing Ctrl plus Z, or if you go to the quick access toolbar and click here. Now, just to show you how it briefly works, if I typed in the words hello, and I wanted to undo that, if I press Ctrl Z, it's undone. And similarly, the redo command will basically reverse your undo action. So let's say, again, I typed in the words hello, and if I undid that action by pressing Ctrl and Z, you can see that the word hello goes away. Now let's say I change my mind and I wanted to put it back. Then if I press Ctrl and Y, you can see that the word comes back. So just be aware, folks, of when we do mention the words undo and redo in our lectures, that this is what we mean by that. OK, the next point is due to the various Excel setups and versions, you might not have the exact same set of features as shown in the lectures. However, most features after you've watched the lectures can be found normally just by exploring the ribbon. OK, so the next point I want to talk about is editing cells. Now, in our lectures, the two most popular ways in which we edit our cells are basically either to use the mouse and double click, which takes us inside a cell, and then we start typing, or we locate the cell using the mouse or keyboard, cursor arrows, and then we just simply start typing into the cell. OK, and the last point is, even if you don't know about formulas, just be aware of them and that in Microsoft Excel, they can be entered into cells to carry out actions on data. So in a lot of the beginners lectures, you'll see us entering text and numbers, but you may occasionally see a formula being entered. And even if you don't understand the syntax or the logic of the formula, just be aware that it is a formula and that formulas are used to perform actions on data. Now, to identify a formula, the key symbol is basically the beginning character will be an equal sign. So just to give you an example, if I put the number five and four, and let's say I wanted to add those two numbers up, I would use the sum function, and that's basically equals sum, open brackets, and then I select my two numbers and then close the brackets. Right, I get the number nine, and just going into the cell, you can see that our formula is here, and our starting symbol is an equals. So that's how you know if a formula has been entered. If it's got an equals at the beginning, it's a formula. OK. And last but not least, in terms of how cells are referenced, we basically refer to the column letter first and then the row number. So for example, this cell here would be called G25. OK, so that concludes this lecture. It was a real brief one, just to overview things to be aware of in Microsoft Excel while you watch our lectures. OK, so thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.